asking, why do our books sometimes not even show up on Amazon? That's a very open-ended... I mean, there's a lot of reasons. Yeah, I mean, that's an answer in itself. There's a lot of variables on what's going on on Amazon side. Um, so it's not like you can just say, like, here is the one thing that's holding you back from showing up on number one on this top ten listing. Like, the way they, they are doing their... Uh, not research. What do they call it on the other end? Like the A9 thing? What is that called? That's their search engine. Yeah, the but, way that they handle their search engine is yeah. constantly changing. It's and the way they index, adapting. really. The yeah. way that they index is always changing. Amazon is an ever-evolving platform. What they are doing currently is not what they were doing even three or four months ago. Even the way that we've done research is constantly evolving. The way that we used to be able to look at a landing zone and know exactly how many competitors are there because it used to show you the exact number, not that has possible. changed. Now that they rotate listings a lot, that has changed. They're just getting more inundated with products. So they're trying to find different ways to give everybody a fair shake. And that's why I said track what's going on with your stuff. If you noticed, hey, it was on page one and now it's on page three and now it's gone, wait another two weeks. It might come back on page one. And then you'll see, oh, this is how they cycle in this niche. They're coming and they're recycling all this stuff. They push my stuff from page one to page five to not being able to see. Then it goes to page one again, then it goes to page three. Oh, it does that twice and then I can never find it again. Now I know how to go after and target this niche. I'll be talking a lot more about that in the last week, but that's essentially what is happening. Yeah, algorithm. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of Amazonness. Yeah, sorry, that was the word I was looking for there, algorithm. It just changes a lot. There's a lot of variables. I don't pretend to understand it. Steven has a better handle on it, but it's not like he has the, you know, cracked the secret code because it's always changing. It's not just, um, you know, I just talked to a lot of programmers that, and I don't understand like APIs, and I think even Cornelia was pointing out the, how Merchant Informer worked before when I was uh, reaching out to those guys and how it's changed now is different. Everything is constantly evolving. Uh, when I was talking to whoever, that was probably years ago now, it was they were pulling information from Google Trends because Amazon was not really releasing that information. Amazon now is loosened up a little bit with how they're allowing people to tap in their API, but it's just, that's their secret sauce. They're never going to give people full access to what they are gathering from the customers. It's just a constant poking and prying the system. I like that for some weird reason. And I have a lot of friends that constantly poke and prod and then we can like collectively figure out what is working, but there's no solution. It's not like, Oh, we cracked the code. It's oh, we figured it out for now. How do we continuously learn how what's going on? And tracking is the only way that I've been found found that it's a consistent problem or consistent solution to that problem. Okay, sorry, I lied. Last question from Wendy. I think this is an interesting <laughs> one. Uh, just because it doesn't show when we're looking for our books doesn't mean it's not there and people can't buy it. This is true. Right. Okay. Uh, she was asking that, like, is that a true fact? No. Because you can't find it doesn't mean other customers can't find right. it. Even if I show on my screen right now, go to cat t-shirt, it's going to be different than what's on your screen. And Amazon, I don't have proof of this, but it's taking a lot more customer information like all the people doing stuff with lexi and the uh, what they're actually searching they're doing a lot more custom displays to you so going on um incognito mode is a strategy but it's just like when you're getting into a lot of that you're going too far into the weeds you just need to test and track and see what's working you don't need to do all these fancy tricks to and that's why we want to show you how to do this without tools you don't need all those tools the tools do speed up a lot of things and they are very helpful, but you don't need it to understand and test and track and find out what's actually going on.